Hey, Corey, Steve from Lakeshore RV Center. Just going to do the video orientation on your um, new Cougar fifth wheel here. We'll start on the inside. It's a bit windy outside, uh, but we'll finish up out there. Um, start right at the back here. Uh, you have your dinette storage over the top there, and then you do have outlets uh, and USB chargers on both sides of the dinette. Over into the slide out, light switch right here for your two top lights, your three lights, and then your um, each of the recliners just on the inside is where you'll pull to recline and then it has the uh, the massage the heat and then also the light on, on each one here so we go over to the fridge this is the Dometic um, RV fridge gas or electric you turn it on the switch is right there and then if you keep it on automatic what will happen is um, when it's on and plugged in, it will default to electric. When you unplug it, it will uh, switch over to gas. So if you want the uh, gas option as you're going down the road, just make sure the propane tanks are open. And then also there's instructions right here for the um, refrigerator. Next thing, a little bit of storage. Whoops. Um, right here in the uh, pantries. As we go up into the bathroom here, Probably the most important thing in the bathroom. Uh, it's going to sound a little weird, but um, for a technical standpoint, it's a GFI outlet. Um, if you have some outlets that aren't working in the camper, check just make sure that's not tripped. Um, otherwise, pretty standard setup faucet. You have your shower right here. Um, this is where it's locked um, for travel position. And then the commode is just a foot flush right down there. So we go up into the bedroom. You can see the slide outs out. We have uh, the wardrobe right here and then queen bed up front again outlets on both sides of the um, nightstands and then you can see right here there's uh, if you want to hook a tv up in the bedroom there's a background the wall that you can screw a bracket into and then outlets and cable uh, satellite um, outlets right there as well so we go back down into the camper. We'll go into the kitchen area. Right here, your sink covers, two pieces, strainer on one side and the cover on the other there. And then you have your, put this up, three burner stove top. There's three dials right here. On the end is a spark ignition. You turn that, it'll give a spark just like you would on a, like a gas grill to ignite push those down and then right here that is going to be for the um you can see it turns on these will turn red when you have turn them on uh but that'll be for the oven and you can go ahead and adjust the um temperature right there this on the end this is just for backlighting if you want that um on the on the dials there you have your summit tv right there and then your Furion AM, FM, CD, DVD player, you have different zones. Zone 1 for inside, inside, zone 2 is for the outside speakers, and then the uh, fireplace underneath that. The brain of the operation here is going to be your in-command system. Now, oh, i got my battery pack on it, so it's just saying the voltage is a little bit low. Let's see if I can clear that out. No, I'm going to have to get a different battery pack. But what I'll do, um, Corey, is I will send over, actually, turn lights off, might help us out here, um, a different video on how to operate that. It's pretty straightforward, and all of those systems are the same for the end command. Like I said, we're going to shut this real quick as we're going outside. Um, you have on the outside here your electric awning that's going to be controlled with the um, in-command system. Huge awning on this. Two outside speakers, like I was showing you how to control those. Your hot water heater, that's controlled off the in-command system as well. Uh, Pass-through storage, and then on each side you're going to have right here are going to be the 30-pound uh, tanks, one on each side. Duck around the front here, spare tire in the front compartment. Uh, battery, there's my battery pack I'm using. You have front lights right here, and those docking lights, those are going to be for these amber LED lights. You have them on each side, and then also up on top there. As you move over to the other pass through, here's your other 30 pound tank. 
right there. But in the pass-through storage, you're gonna notice right here you have your um, black water poles. There is two gray tanks. Um, I'm sorry, there's a black water and a gray water pole right there. You have a second gray tank, and that pole is right underneath by the uh, outlet there. So black being for the sewer, gray being for the dirty water, black tank flush if you want to hook a hose up to that. It says right there, if you're going to use that, make sure this is open. Um, don't leave it closed because the water will come up through the toilet. City water connection and then to winterize. Um, really easy winterization um, right there. And then you also have the external shower. And then right here is where you'll hook up for your... Um, cable, uh, TV, and then the satellite, and then battery disconnect right there. Inside, this is gonna be for the auto leveling system. There is instructions right behind, and I'll send you a separate video on that as well. And then you have the um, solar right here, and then battery disconnect for that. And then also in the pass-through storage is your power cord. This is for the outside shower right there. Um, that I'll hook up there. As we go around the side here, this is your furnace exhaust. Just be mindful of that if the heater's on, that uh, you don't put anything up against it or touch it, that gets extremely hot. And then the power cord connects right here. This is the uh, 30 amp plug in here. And then just next to it, this is gonna be where you'll fill the fresh water tank, um, just behind the uh, lock there. Then as we move to the back, you have the two inch receiver hitch. You have the ladder going up to the top of the camper. And then if you want to do the Furion observation camera, uh, there's four screws that hold that cover on. Take it off and there's basically a, um, a RCA jack that plugs in right there. And then moving back around, uh, just the main entrance. One word of caution is make sure these, this door is all the way open when you put the steps up or down. Otherwise, it will catch on the door. I'll show you right here. But you want to make sure that is going to be um, all the way open because those steps, they're kind of heavy. And if they catch on the aluminum screen here, um, it could do a lot of damage. So not like this, but just swing it all the way open like so and then these steps go up and then they'll lock right there to unlock just pull that and then bring it down but they'll lock into place right there but you can see how it needs all that clearance to get all of this through so uh cory if you have any questions feel free to get a hold of me on my cell 231-736-9162 and i appreciate your business um hope you have a lot of a lot of great years and good memories with your, your new fifth wheel. Thank you.